Welcome to Behind the Lore Channel, aficionados of the arcane and the unexplained. Today we delve into the chilling tale of the Beast of Jersey. This is your corner of the internet, where we explore the enigmatic world cryptids. Our journey today leads us to the Isle of Jersey, where we'll uncover the mysteries surrounding a creature that has long instilled fear and sparked intrigue. So, brace yourselves, for we're about to journey into the shadowy depths of this chilling cryptid tale. Our journey begins in the 1960s on the scenic island of Jersey. This tranquil paradise was rocked to its core when whispers of a terrifying creature started to circulate. The Beast of Jersey, as it came to be known, was no ordinary menace. It was described as a horrifying entity standing over six feet tall with glowing eyes and a terrifying grinning face. This ghastly apparition was adorned in a cloak and hood, further adding to its nightmarish image. The first sightings of this beast sent shockwaves of fear throughout the island. The local population once carefree and easygoing was now gripped with an unspeakable dread. Children were warned not to venture out after dark and even adults started to shun the once peaceful night. The idyllic island had been transformed into a place of fear and horror. Those initial sightings marked the beginning of a reign of terror that would last for over a decade. As the 1960s progressed, tales of the beast grew more frequent and more terrifying. The beast of Jersey was not a mere whisper in the dark, but a horrifying reality for the people of this tranquil island. Its reign was marked by numerous sightings and alleged activities that sent chills down the spines of its residents. Over the course of a decade, the beast was reportedly seen over 30 times, and with each sighting, its legend grew. It was said to lurk in the shadows, its glowing eyes piercing the darkness, its clawed hands reaching out for the unsuspecting. The chilling tales recounted by those who claimed to have encountered the beast were enough to keep anyone awake at night. A local farmer, John Legro, spoke of an eerie encounter one cold evening. He described the beast as a hulking figure with a menacing presence. Its eyes, he said, held an unnatural glow, its gaze filled with a malice that chilled him to the bone. Meanwhile, a schoolteacher, Mary Lesueur, shared her harrowing encounter. She spoke of a terrifying figure that emerged from the cloak of darkness as she walked home one evening. The beast, she claimed, had a hideous grimace, its face obscured by a mask, and its body covered in a strange, hairy coat. Such stories created a palpable sense of fear in the community. Parents started accompanying their children to school. Nighttime outings became a rarity, and homes were locked tight after dusk. The beast's reign wasn't just about sightings, it was a reign of terror that gripped the island, altering the lives of its inhabitants. Yet, amidst the fear, there was also a morbid fascination. The beast had become a part of local folklore, a terrifying creature that lurked in the shadows, a story to be told in hushed whispers around the fire. The beast of Jersey had become a legend, its presence a constant source of fear and fascination. But every legend holds a kernel of truth and the beast of Jersey was no exception. As cryptid enthusiasts, we often revel in the unknown, the unexplainable, the shadows that dance just beyond the edge of our understanding. But sometimes, those shadows are cast by all two human monsters. The Beast of Jersey was indeed such a case, a dark tale spun around an even darker reality. In the late 1960s the fear that had gripped the people of Jersey began to ebb. The Beast, it seemed, had vanished. But the terror wasn't over, it merely shifted from the realm of folklore to the harsh light of reality. In July 1971, a man named Edward Paisnell was arrested following a car chase. He was not a mythical creature but a man. A man who had used the legend of the beast to instill fear and mask his heinous crimes. News reports of the time painted a chilling picture of Paisnell, a notorious sex offender who had terrorized Jersey for more than a decade. He was known to wear a grotesque mask and a coat adorned with nails a real-life depiction of the beast. The news sent shockwaves through the community, the horror of the beast's reign taking on a new, grim reality. As investigators delved deeper, they uncovered a chamber of horrors at Paisnell's home, revealing the depths of his depravity. The man who had once been a respected member of the community was now revealed as the monster that had haunted their nightmares. In the end, Paisnell was sentenced to 30 years in prison, but the scars he left on the community, the fear he instilled, they lingered. The Beast of Jersey had been unmasked but the legend lived on. The terrifying Beast of Jersey was unmasked, the reality proving as horrifying as the folklore. The tale of the Beast of Jersey is a chilling reminder that sometimes the monsters we fear are all too real. This cryptid creature shrouded in mystery and fear has left an indelible mark on the collective consciousness of Jersey. 
The beast's origins, traced back to the first sightings, have been woven into the fabric of local lore. Its reign of terror, spanning over a decade, has left a trail of eerie testimonials and news reports that continue to fuel speculation and intrigue. The unmasking of the beast has only added another layer to this enigmatic entity, further cementing its place in cryptid folklore. This beast, with its terrifying features and nocturnal habits, bears striking similarities to other cryptid creatures from around the globe. From the Mothman of West Virginia to the Chupacabra of Puerto Rico these entities share common threads of the unknown and the unexplained that keep us captivated. Through exploring these chilling tales we delve deeper into the shadows of the unexplained, challenging our perceptions of reality and fueling our fascination with the unknown. Thank you for joining us on this eerie journey. If you enjoyed this video please like share and subscribe and remember there's always more lurking in the shadows of the unexplained. Until next time.